It's no news that as humans, we have the tendency to get worried and disturbed when things don't go our way. It can get us all worried and worked up. But I like to tell you today that there is a time for everything. The Bible made us understand that there is a time for everything and a season for everything under the heavens. So don't worry if things don't work out your way, because with time, everything will fall into place. Lines will begin to fall into pleasant places for you, because you have a goodly heritage. I know that it can be burdensome at times to think that God is taking too long to answer your prayers. Maybe you feel He works too slowly for your liking, and you want to do it your way. But let me tell you, there is no hurry in this life. We all have different roots and ways. We're not all moving on the same direction, because we don't have the same destination. So do not look to the left or to the right. Things will fall into place at the right time. Joseph was a boy helped by God. Right from a young age, he began to dream of seeing the moon, the stars, and the sun bowing down to him. The immediate response to that dream was not its realization. Instead, he seems to have been demoted, if I must say. His brothers conceived to leave him in the desert, and he was later thrown into a well. Joseph, who was later sold as a slave boy. If Joseph was not aware that God was with him, he would have given up. But he had to go through the process so that he will reach his destination. It did not stop there. He was at Potiphar's house, a slave boy, when Potiphar's wife wanted to have her way with him. He refused to do an ungodly thing, and he was thrown into prison. But when the set time came for things to fall into place, he was removed from prison, and he became the prime minister. The Bible says in Psalms 126, verse 1 to 6, When the Lord brought back the captives who returned to Zion, we were like those who dream. It seemed so unreal. Then were our mouths filled with laughter and our tongues with singing. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Turn to freedom our captivity and restore our fortunes, O Lord, as the streams in the south, the Negev, are restored by the torrents. They who sow in tears shall reap in joy and singing. He who goes forth bearing seed and weeping and needing his precious supply of grain for sowing shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Don't worry, everything will fall into place. Or is it the father of faith, which Abraham who was waited for a child from God? The Lord has already told him that he will be the father of many nations, and up till the time he was about a hundred years, there was still no sign of having his child. But the word of the Lord has already gone forth, and he was not giving up. He knows that time and chance happen to us all. When the time of God reached for him to be glorified, he gave Abraham a son. See, when it's time, everything will fall into place. The reason why we can believe that when a woman has passed menopause, she can still bear a child is that we've seen it in the Bible. We know God is capable of doing far more than we can ask or even think of. Everything will fall into place at the right time. I keep the emphasis on the right time, because it has to be the right time so that you will not think God is partial or He loves one more than the other. That is not true. He treats us equally as His children, only that some of us will not mature at the same time. The reason why your neighbor can handle so much money and you barely have money is probably because God is trying to work on you to the place where you can handle so much money too. Sometimes when things are going slowly in your life, check the condition of your heart, for God looks at the heart while men look at outward appearance. 
How excessively do we worry when we're not thinking about how we will do in our new job, how our child will do in school when the time comes, or how things are going in our marriage? How often do we arrive late to an event, having drawn our catastrophic conclusions, only to discover that, in the end, everything falls into place in a much simpler way than we expected? Sometimes, our mind runs much faster than we would like. What we need to do is incorporate the idea of a slow lifestyle into our ways of thinking, so we can stay more present in our busy, stressful lives. Stop thinking so much. In the end, everything works out and everything will come to its proper place. As an old saying goes, everything can be fixed except death. So let your mind rest a little bit and do not try to mentally push time when all we have to do is let it do its job. If we decide to see matters in a different light, then we'll be able to work them out in the end. Maybe you're unemployed, single, and nothing is going right at home. If you've lost work, love, stability, don't worry. The compass of life will help you find your path again. Everything will find its place. After a storm, the sun always comes out. There's always light at the end of the tunnel, and we're closer to the time that we think we are. So don't give up. God has a plan with you in mind. He said, the plans he has for us are of good and not of evil, to bring us to an expected end. Don't worry yourself, because everything will fall into place at the right time. God will work it out for you too. Just believe. We're always finding ourselves with worries, many of which are unnecessary. These worries are caused by situations of anxiety and stress and are bad for both the body and the mind. Let's not be wordy. The Bible has told us in the book of Philippians 4, verse 6 to 8, which says, Do not fret or have any anxiety about anything, but in every circumstance and everything, by prayer and petition, definite requests with thanksgiving, continue to make your wants known to God. And God's peace shall be yours, that tranquil state of a soul assured of its salvation through Christ. And so, fearing nothing from God and being content with its earthly lot of whatever sort that is, that peace which transcends all understanding, shall garrison and mount guard over your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. For the rest, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is worthy of reverence and is honorable, and seemingly whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely and lovable, whatever is kind and winsome and gracious, if there is any virtue and excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think on and weigh and take account of these things. Fix your minds on them. Instead of worrying, fix your mind on the thing God will do in your life. God rejoices instead. The river makes its way, carving its path little by little, without needing to look for it or continuously think about it. So do not worry. Everything will fall into place. God controls the seasons as well as the seasonal manifestations, not us. Never forget that. With this in mind, I feel led to tell you the rest. Trust God. He knows exactly where you're headed. He has a plan for your life. His infinite wisdom and his impeccable timing preordained the exact day and time of your set time. You cannot speed it up or slow it down. You can only wait in anticipation of what awesome things are coming your way. Be assured, your day will come, but only at the appointed time and not a moment sooner. So many people worry themselves sick about their future and destiny. In their way, though not literally, they snatch handfuls of leaves from the branches of the tree, hoping to force autumn to come. God already has everything mapped out. Just walk in obedience. Know that you are a favorite of the Lord. As long as you follow Him, the author and finisher of our faith, 
as Hebrew 12 verse 2 calls him. You will get what he has for you. When you feel yourself getting anxious, stressed, worried, or impatient, tell yourself, God knows the end from the beginning, and when it's my time, it's my time. God is your sustainer and your help. He knows the way forward. Would you not rather trust the one who knows the road? The Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. Trust the judgment of the Lord that He knows the way, and He will not lead you to destruction. Plus, He's a good shepherd. Just be calm. Everything will fall into place at the right time.